Have you ever wondered why environmental monitoring in pharma clinic rooms always uses 1000 liters of air for active air sampling? It's one of those numbers that show up everywhere, but there's a solid scientific and regulatory reason behind it. Well, in pharma sterile manufacturing, you know, we heavily rely on the active air samplers to measure the microbial contamination in the clinic rooms. and the the volume we sample has to be large enough to truly represent the air quality but small enough to avoid the stressing of the sampler or even drying the agar plate and that's why both usp 1116 iso 14698 uh, and also the regulatory agencies like the fda enema standardize the volume at 1 cubic meter or approximately 1000 liters so this volume gives a statistically reliable snapshot of the environment smaller samples might miss the microorganisms while the larger ones can damage the media or overheat the instrument most samplers pull about 1000 or sorry 100 liters per minute or 10 minutes gives a full cubic meter which is efficient consistent and even accepted worldwide now it's worth noting that this standard mainly applies to the grade a and grade b areas for grade c and d main many facilities justify smaller volumes like 500 liters using as a disk based approach as long it's backed by sound data and trending so yes uh, 1000 liters isn't just a random number it's a balance between the science practicality and the compliance so what's your take do you think risk based flexibility in sampling volumes is the right way forward for low grade areas comment below